that may uh, this this third third of thirteenth uh, of May. Yeah. You're going to give a workshop on uh, on intelligent anarchism and the organizing of grass grassroots. Could could you say a bit about uh, intelligent anarchism and how how it might be relevant for the organizing of grassroots? Sure, Alan. We live in a time that seems very polarized politically. It's it's a time in people which people often don't trust. Uh, their governments or their state institutions. And so we're asking ourselves, how can we act politically in such a way as to bring about change from the ground up, right? How can we act together and form a community? And one of the things that the best of the anarchist tradition offers is ways of people being able to think of one another as equals in a task of governing ourselves. So what I want to do is bring together some of those themes, theoretically, so people can see what an intelligent anarchism would look like, and also practically, so people can ask, how might we engage in grassroots organizing right, to make a society better in a situation in which there is a lot of trust lost in governmental institutions uh, and other big institutions? It sounds interesting, and uh, could you say a bit about your own background in organizing? I know that you've done a lot of that, so, uh, so what are some of the main issues when you are organizing uh, uh, people? Well, I've, I've organized everything from anti-racism to Palestinian rights to uh, lesbian and gay, transgender, queer rights. And one of the things that often happens is that people feel as though they can't make a change. Right? They don't feel hopeful. So if people begin to feel as though if we come together, we can make a change, right, then they become more empowered, and then, of course, they can actually make a change. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay.